depleted uranium. Let's discuss depleted uranium safety and health effects. Let's start from first. First we have raw uranium. Raw uranium contains two isotopes of uranium. One is less radioactive, another is more radioactive. After enrichment process, we get two types of uranium. One is called enriched uranium, second is called depleted uranium. Enriched uranium contains 3 to 5 percent of U-235 or it contains 3 to 5 percent of high radioactive component. And depleted uranium contains less than 0.7 percent of U-235. It means it it is less radioactive and it is called depleted uranium. Enriched uranium is used in nuclear plants and nuclear weapons and is high radioactive. Depleted uranium which is less radioactive and much more less radioactive compared to uh, uranium um, is used in ammunition because it has high uh, high density that's why it is used as a plates and armors of um, armor vehicles and rockets and different types of armors it is widely used by USA military Russian military British military for example tanks T-72 and T-90 contains parts of depleted uranium. Now let's explain how affects our health depleted uranium. During military actions, fine dusts and fine particles are produced and created of depleted uranium and we inhale it or we getting it from air, from food or for water, from water. When we inhale these fine particles, they deposit in lungs, in kidneys and in bones and they have small but they still have radiation. They have alpha radiation, alpha radiation damages DNA and fine particles in our body and it causes inflammation and causes mutation of DNA. It, it increases risk of different diseases, including cancer, birth defects, leukemia, kidney damage. And main mechanism of action of depleted uranium is oxidative stress. Oxidative stress damages DNA. That's the main mechanism. But uh, still researches are needed to confirm the findings and to explain exact mechanism of action. And in case of cancers, uh, leukemia and lymphoma risk are increased when person gets some uh, depleted uranium. Also birth defects are prominent, but here we should say that this increased risk of birth defects still low, absolute risk still low. For example, in normal population who don't get this depleted uranium, uh, this risk is 1.5%. And the persons who get depleted uranium with defect risk is 2.2%. So it's high percent if we measure the change, but still low if you measure absolute risk. Uh, and same is in case of leukemia. Leukemia risk is 0.08% and it, uh, this risk is increased to 0.13%. So this change number of course is important but absolute risk is not too high. Using depleted uranium uh, is not 
prohibited uh, in military but it's controversial issue of course and more researches are needed and more studies are needed uh, to well establish the risk and potential benefits and risk using depleted uranium thank you for watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now